Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another paper squishy tutorial, but this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to make my squishy more slow rising by using a different stuffing material. First of all, I just colored, or I mean drew whatever you want your squishy to be. This time I'm making a toast squishy, and as you can see, I didn't leave it like so it was just a regular bread color, color. I kind of like shaded it in. So that because when you toast a piece of bread, it doesn't, it's not the same color. You toast it that much. So. Yeah. And then it's going to want to fold it until you see that, like, onto the edge. I don't really know how to explain this part, but yeah. So it looks like this, and it's got folded. And then you're just going to want to cut it out. Now you should be able to unfold it and have two pieces that are connected in the middle. And if you want, you can color the back. It will look a lot better if you do. And then you're just going to want to tape the front and the back, cover the front and the back with tape. And I do recommend using a wider tape for this as you will use up less tape. Cover it in tape like this and overlap the layers of tape. And do that with both the sides, just if you want to know how you do it, basically. Once you've covered just the first side, then you want to cut off all this excess. So I've cut off the excess from the front, and I just did cover the back in tape, but I haven't cut off that excess, so now uh, we're going to tape down the edges. So first, we're just going to take a chunk of tape and then cut it into small pieces, and then on the other side, just fold them over instead of folding the whole entire tape over. It just makes the squishy look a lot more nicer and less wrinkled in the end. So I didn't tape this top piece so that it can open up so that we can stuff it. I haven't finished doing it, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that because we can stuff our squishy. So today I decided to stuff it with memory foam. These are just the leftover shavings of memory foam from my memory foam squishies, which uh, tutorials for those are coming soon. And so, yeah, so, and by the way, the bag is yellow, just so you know. Done stuffing it, you can tape it back up. So here is the finished squishy. It is kind of slow rising. I mean, it's it's like not, I mean, I don't really understand how you could get a paper squishy to be slow rising. There are ways, but I use the memory foam. My memory foam isn't, like, you wouldn't consider it that slow rising, but it has a lot different feel to it than, like, this squishy, for example, which was used with stuffed animal stuffing. It has a lot more squishier feeling, and it's just fun to play with in general. Here I have the squishy package. Um, this is my second squishy package from Amazon, so go ahead and open it. Here we have a panda donut. It was, I think, $5. It's pretty, like, firm. Well, okay, let's just take it out of its container. Here it is. It's so cute. And when you squish it, it's like, it's, um, I'm not sure. It's like, it's like really firm. So it's like not, um, like it doesn't feel like it could rip easily. Ooh, nice. It's kind of slow rising. It's like not as slow rising as it could be. Like the milk card one was more slow rising than this. But overall, it's um, a great squishy. I love it. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And please remember to like and subscribe if you want more squishy tutorial videos. And I will soon be doing memory from squishy tutorials, so stay tuned for that.